Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and I'm back for a Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC Showdown Live. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, I am a competitive VGC player, and I really love teaching people VGC. It's the entire reason I have my channel up. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are new to the game, which I assume you are, Sword and Shield just come out and a lot of people are looking to get into competitive, go ahead, leave a like, and subscribe to this channel because that's exactly what I do. I put out competitive content on a nearly daily basis. And yeah, today we're going to be using this team I built in the previous video. Uh, I, ended up, I ended up switching Phalanx to Lumberry because I realized that Life Orb is pretty unnecessary and Lum would allow us to take a burn for free. Uh, but yeah, it's Lumberry, Phalanx with enough speed for base 100s after a, uh, after a no retreat. We have Focus Ash Excadrill, standard set. Assault Vest Tyranitar with Assurance and Breaking Swipe. We have Leftovers Corviknight, very specially defensive with Bulk Up. We have Figgy Berry Hitmontop with Fake Out, Wide Guard, Faint, Close Combat. And we have Citrus Berry Rotom with a little bit of speed and bulky offensive spread. Max HP, Max Special Attack, Modest Nature. But with that, let's go ahead and get into it. I already tried recording this, but I played like garbage for some reason, and I was just like, okay, I'm only like 10 minutes in, and I've lost 5 battles. Let's, let's get back on the horse. <laughs> let's get back on the horse. All right. This is actually a really interesting team. I haven't seen Gilead yet, but he might be a bit of an issue. Rotom seems like a necessary Pokemon here. Uh, I'll be able to hit Duraldon in its really weak point, that special defense stat. And I'll be able to overheat you, burn you, burn you, burn you. Yeah, Rotom is honestly just always going to be my lead, isn't it? <laughs> uh, this is for my other Pokemon. For my other Pokemon. I'm thinking I'm going to want to lead off with Corviknight here. Uh, because Corviknight's able to take a hit from everything except for Arcanine and this thing. And if Arcanine does come out, uh, I'll be able to use Mirror Armor to reflect that Intimidate. And I think in the back, I'm just going to bring Sand. Grab a GLHF. Good luck, have fun. Alright, so I actually really like this lead. I'm going to go ahead and go for this Overheat immediately, because I feel like he's just going to want to taunt me. Uh, or he might even taunt my... He might even taunt my Corviknight here. And this overheat will let me KO for free. No matter what comes out, even if it's like an Arcanine, um, he doesn't really have anything safe. Because, uh, what is it? Gallade can come out, it's going to pretty much get KO'd. Because that special defense stat's pretty eh. Alright, let's see what he goes for. Big Tears Max Lightning, for sure. I have a lot of special defense, though, so I should take it pretty well. This overheat should do a chunk. Oh my god, that just KOs. So we're able to get rid of his we're able to get rid of his Dynamax Pokemon right off the bat. I'm actually really happy that happened because um had I not like I had no safe switches there except for except for Excadrill. Excadrill was the only safe switch. There's the Dragapult. Uh, I might just get I might get taunted here, but I'm willing to risk it. I'll go ahead and I'll go for a Will-O-Wisp and switch in my Tyranitar. I'm hoping he taunts my Corviknight if anything. Um, he might think that I have no reason to stay in with Rotom, but honestly, like, this is just such a safe play going for that Will-O-Wisp. Yes, it can miss, but, um, if he's taunting anything, it's Corviknight. It, it should be. Hopefully he doesn't substitute. Goes for the Will-O-Wisp. Okay. I honestly didn't expect that. That's really interesting. Spirit Break is going to lower my special attack, though. Uh, and I think here I go for that slow Volt Switch into my Excadrill. And I can go for Assurance for a bit of extra damage on that Dragapult. Because I should be faster on my Rotom, right? 107, 88, yeah. So that Volt Switch into Assurance is going to do a decent chunk of damage here. He might have Breaking Swipe, too. There's the Arcanine. He oh, he's Justified. I think he just loses, though. <laughs> I can bring out my Excadrill, and if this Assurance KOs, which I'm not sure if it will, I'm not sure if it will, I'm in a good spot. Oh, <laughs> the crit, okay. Okay, that probably mattered, but Assurance does double on base power, and I am a Tyranitar. Let me, uh, let me take no risks here. Let me max Quake. Everybody wasted his Dynamax. I'm gonna max Quake, and I'm gonna Assurance. can't really do anything um the reason he can't really deal with extra drill at the moment is because 
like the worst he can do is try to thunder wave me and it's not going to do anything because <laughs> i'm immune to it but that max click will ko and it looks like i'm just going to pick up the win here nice good game get two more depending on how quickly these matches go i'll, I'll get like two to four more matches because that first one only took five minutes some matches will go on forever though and we're facing galarian darmanitan i hate this thing it's scary um but Excadrill is a nice way of dealing with it. We can Oko it. Uh, Scrafty. I think I always lead off Sand here. But he does have a countermeasure to Sand, which is a bit annoying. Almost tempted to lead off Phalanx for some reason. In case he brings out the Scrafty. But he should bring out Excadrill as his lead. Um, this might be a rare Hitmontop game. Or Rotom game. Go Rotom. Rotom's a nice lead versus everything. Nothing really takes it. In fact, everything on this team does not appreciate Rotom. Thunderbolt. Overheat. Burn. 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 Overheat. It's just an overheat on you, too. You, you're not safe. You're not safe at all. Uh, my Hitmontop also should be faster than Scrafty. I might be able to do that. Uh, and bring Sand in the back. But honestly, Corviknight's looking, like, Corviknight's looking kind of good. Corviknight's looking really good as a lead. Let's do this. Pretty much the same thing as before. Yeah, Corviknight's such a good Pokemon. I honestly didn't think it'd be this good. I didn't think it'd be that good with the stat spread that they gave it. I thought they screwed my boy over, but... 98 HP, 105 attack, 85 special defense. This thing's bulky and it has bulk up. It can do so much. 87, not a good attack stat, but it can work with it. Especially with max moves. There's that Togekiss and that Scrafty. That's exactly what I wanted. Also, Moxie Scrafty. Or Shedskin Scrafty, who knows? Um Dude, I have no reason not to bulk up here, don't I? I got no reason not to bulk up. Let me go for this Will O Wisp. I feel like you might want to switch out Toby because it's got nothing to do here but Tailwind, and if it does Tailwind, it's like it's like what whatever, dude. It's it's literally whatever. You bring a Galarian Darmanitan. Bulk up. Ice Punch? Dude, you're not doing anything to me. You're not you're not doing anything to me, dude. Um I should we go for this again like a man. I'm gonna do it like a man. He's not gonna follow me twice. Cause I don't want to volt switch either. I'm in I'm in a really good position here damage he can deal to me with both of these Pokemon is, like, garbage. Like, he's gonna do, like... Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, whatever. <laughs> That's actually whatever, though. Watch me... Bolt Switch. Max Airstream that Togekiss. Or actually, I should really... I should really Volt Switch and Max Airstream on this thing. Because the Max Airstream will... Like, it doesn't ignore the redirection, but if he does decide to, like, go with anything, then this is fine. Max Lightning? Yeah. Yeah, no, you're not doing much. Ooh, okay. Let's chin my Tyranitar here. And that Max Airstream did KO. Also, something to note, because we maxed at the same turn, that means that um, I can just max guard the second one of these and be fine. Switch in my Rotom. Yeah, I, sh I always switch in my Rotom here, I think. Uh, or actually, I do take <laughs> I do take one of these. I can max Airstream into the Dragapult. He shouldn't KO me, and I'm at plus two. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to go with it, and I'll just max guard the final turn. Yeah, no, not KOing me. He goes for the draw. Oh, he's Mold Breaker. I should have realized that. I don't know why I ignored that. He gets the KO there. I switch in my Rotom. I beat his Rotom every time. Not my, not his Rotom. I beat his Excadrill every time. But I think I want to lead off with Tyranitar first, just so I can have him eat that Intimidate. Oh, wait. He's not Intimidate. I keep forgetting he's not Intimidate. Um... 
yeah, uh, I think my play here is just breaking swipe and max airstream into the scrafty since I can't be I can't be intimidated or faked out, so this should KO. And now I just win, don't I? Yeah, I superpower. Tailwind to be safe. And I just win with uh with Jaw Run here as long as I don't miss. Go for the spray bird. Corviknight's so good. Good game. Corviknight's so good. I really didn't think it'd be that good. I really didn't. I, I wanted I wanted Phalanx to take the show, but Corviknight's just taking it. Good luck, have fun. Um, facing an opposing Corviknight here. Dragapult, Excadrill. No sand on his side. I think he's Moldbreaker again. Might be mold breaker. Um I feel like I always lead off Corviknight. I can also just lead off sand. Maybe 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 Corviknight Tyranitar. Nah, that's a horrible lead. <laughs> that's a horrible lead. We'll lead off sand, bring Corviknight in the back. Um, as well as a Rotom. So no phalanx. Right, I'm actually pretty okay with this. Uh, call me crazy, but I think I'm just gonna rock slide assurance. Might get a flinch. No dynamax. Let's see if I get this flinch. Oh, that's such good damage. Oh my god, that's such good damage. Um, and we know I'm faster than the Corviknight, too. That's really good. That's really, really good. I can honestly just do that again. I can do that again. Arknight can come in. doesn't matter. In fact, that's, like, awful. That was a low-tier play. Because this Assurance... <sighs> this Assurance is still doing a ton. Um, switch in my Rotom here and go for that Drill Run. He should go for that Will-O-Wisp into my Tyranitar, and I want to keep Sand. This is Dynamax. Ooh, we don't KO. Interesting. Max Geyser is going to set that up. Let me bring my Tyranitar back in, eat the hit. Uh, I always Rock Slide here. And protect because he will not KO me. I'm assault vest. I am assault vest. There's my Rotom faster. I might be able to just volt switch assurance. I can also bring in Corviknight. I could also bring in Corviknight. I could also max Rockfall too. Max Rockfall makes more sense. Let me bolt switch on you. I'll max rock fall the Rotom. Because I'm going after. I'm going to get my sand back up. That sucks. Max Geyser. Protect on that Arcanine. Max rock fall. It's not going to do much. It's actually a really close game. In comes the Dragapult. I feel comfortable tailwinding, to be honest. I really do. Because he shouldn't be able to KO me with a Thunderbolt. And Max... Do I Tailwind Max Knuckle the Rotom? I kind of want to Max Knuckle that Rotom. Alright, never mind. You're KOing me. Ah, that sucks. Good game. Unfortunate loss. I didn't expect the Helping Hand coming out from that. That's actually a really cool tech. Let me get a couple more. Let me get a couple more. 
maybe maybe just one we'll see how long it lasts so that we're facing opposing sand now um got two steals now oh, three steals actually really big rotom weakness jeez how do you how do you deal with rotom besides your own rotom it's got no intimidators either in fact how do you deal with how do you deal with phalanx um I could honestly, I could honestly lead off a Phalanx here. You know, it doesn't matter if I win or lose this one. I don't care. I want to bring Phalanx. I'm going to lead off Phalanx, hit him on top. He has a pro like, it, it's not really a good idea to bring it, but I really want to use Phalanx. So if I lose, I don't care. Rotom Heat. Corviknight. Yeah. This Phalanx can tear a hole in this team. It gives me the opportunity. And if he goes to that Willowis turn one, I, I get a free no retreat. A little bit disappointed he doesn't have an Intimidator. <laughs> Be really nice. They really nerfed Intimidate this generation. They got us a couple of really good. Um, they, they gave us a really, uh, really good selection of Defiant Pokemon. Mirror Armor is a really prevalent ability considering Corviknight's in high usage. And uh, they buffed Oblivious own tempo. Not own tempo. They buffed Oblivious and a couple of other abilities. So that way they're just immune to intimidate so that's just just really cool all right i don't mind that um go ahead try to will-o-wisp me i'm just gonna say it. go ahead and try to will-o-wisp me see what happens I'm going for the yeet button. I want him to will wisp me right now. All right, there's the Dynamax. I'm gonna get Max Airstreamed and die. <laughs> I'm gonna get Max Airstreamed and die. Oh, okay. Yeah, good game. <laughs> good game, going for the meme. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll get one more real game. I'm not gonna try to bring Phalanx. I'm not gonna try to bring Phalanx at all, unless I can. This is hard trick room. It's hard, hard trick room. Um, he has one fake out user, so I can just Dynamax and KO his trick room user. Uh, I think I always lead off sand, and I'll explain why in a second. So basically, um, it, he I can Dynamax whichever one threatens his his um. Whichever one of these threatens his Trick Room user more. Because what I can do is he's going to want to, like, take out the Tyranitar. So I can Dynamax and just go for Max Darkness as well as my other attack. And I can bring Hitmontop for Wide Guard. And probably just Rotom Heat to deal all around damage to everything. I don't really have a way of dealing with you, though. A bit annoying. The Grim Snarl. Do you get Trick Room? Does, does Grimstar get Trick Room? I don't know. It doesn't. It's just going to fake out. It's literally just going to fake out. Um, should be more fearful of Excadrill. Let me do this. <laughs> let, me give me my, let me give myself some special defense. And uh, I'll go for the Assurance to KO. You should fake out Excadrill like every time. Or not, okay. So note to self, max rockfall next turn. I did live, so I can max rockfall now. I didn't go for this uh Does Rock Slide do more? I should really rock slide. And the reason I'm rock falling the Grim Snarl is because Grim Snarl can't protect from it in case he decides to stall me out a little bit. Which would make sense. Ooh, we got the crit. How are we? Oh. He is just really styling on me. Alright, so I can. I guess I can max Quake to get me some more special defense on my Grim or on my uh, on my Tyranitar, and go for another Rock Sled. If he max protects, it doesn't matter. 
I'm honestly really surprised. Oh, okay. That's an issue. No, it's not really, is it? It's not that much of an issue. I can I can bring in my Rotom Heat here, threaten whatever comes in. Not you, though. You are not very threatened. Um, just let me Volt Switch on you. I guess I would... I guess I would always Volt Switch on you. Go for the Rock Sled. You don't get Wide Guard. Bring out my Hitmon Top for Intimidate. KO the Torkoal. Get the KO on the Colossal. Weakness Policy Colossal. You're not doing anything. Oh my god. Yeah, it's only got like 80 in both. Uh, I always go for the Fake Out into you. And the Assurance into you. Get good damage. And then, as long as he wasn't, like, Light Clay on his Grimmsnarl, I should be able to close combat to get the KO. Because Gastrodon is my biggest threat right now. I'm not, I'm not even concerned about Colossal. Or should I be? I should really be more concerned about Colossal. Let me close combat you and Rock Sled. Ah, I, I, I choked. <laughs> I guess I can just do it next turn. It's not like Gastrodon's a threat. Tarantar's at plus two special defense. Close combat, superpower. Not superpower. Close combat, rock slide, possible flinch. Yeah, I can't let Colossal just sit there. I think we just win. Go for this. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go for the style play. Go for the style play. I want to KO him with Assurance. That's my tech that I like on Tyranitar. Get the Assurance KO. Good game. All right. So that was that was really interesting. We ended up winning three battles, losing two. I kind of threw away one of the battles because I just felt like, yeah, I wanted to use Phalanx really bad and I wasn't able to. But let me know what you guys think about this team in the comment section down below. Do you think it's viable? Do you enjoy it? Are you going to try it out for yourself? Uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. Uh, social media links in the description down below, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord. Be sure to join the Discord especially because we're trying to get some people in there to get best of threes with, to trade with, trade off hidden abilities, and uh, do some raids with. We have a raid channel that's popping all the time. But yeah, with that, I'm going to call it Everyone Have a Nice Night. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.